This customer is going to be installing onyx stone in her bar area and she wants to backlit the stone. So we're going to be installing these core mats onto the back of the plywood here so that when they put the onyx up, it's gonna backlit the stone. These mats can be cut to size so that you can fit them perfectly in the location that you wanna backlight. After cutting the mats to the perfect size, now I'm gonna be installing them inside of here just like that. And we'll put a wire jumper from the connector to connector so that they all connect. Now you can only run one home run per every four mats. So we're gonna be installing two 300 watt transformers down inside this cabinet. And I'm gonna make the existing outlet a two gang with a cassetta switch controlling the drivers. And then I'm gonna give the customer a handheld remote for easy access to turn on the lights. So after I get all my mats cut to size, they mount to the wood with the provided double-sided tape on the back. And then there's these spacers that install into the mats to keep the onyx stone from pushing against the mats. And it also keeps a nice distance for the light to project through the stone. So after removing the double-sided tape, you just kind of stick the mat to the wall like that. And then they come with these Connectors, I don't like these because they're red and black. So I make my own jumper and I'm gonna install a jumper inside the connector, one on the negative, and then you wanna install it on the same terminal on the negative, and then one on the positive, and then on the same terminal on the positive. And then we'll just make these nice and clean back here. Now that I got all the mats installed and connected, I'm gonna run my six home runs to the mats. One is gonna go to each side and four are gonna go to the middle. I need to run my home run to the side, so I'm gonna drill with my 90 degree angle bit in the wood and then I'll run the wire. Now that I have my hole drilled, I can run my low voltage wire from side to middle and then I'll have it behind the mat here and I'll go down through this hole down to my driver that's gonna be inside the cabinet. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. That one didn't go as smooth, but I still made it through. So my low voltage wire will come out just like that and we'll make it down to the hole there and this will all be behind the mat that's installed on the bottom right here so you can't see the wire. So I ran my home run from the side to the middle and now I'm running it from the middle down to where my drivers are gonna be down here. And then I'm gonna make this outlet a two gang box with my cassetta controlling the outlet next to it. And then I'll plug my drivers into the outlet and the drivers will control the home runs, which control the mats up above. We're also gonna be installing tape light in this groove underneath this cabinet that's already wired. So I'm gonna make a three gang box down here so that I can have two outlets and I'm gonna install an additional 20 watt driver for the tape light up there besides my two 300 watts for the the mats. So I ran all six home runs to each location where they're gonna go and I'm landing the home runs into the connectors just like this and then I'll staple the wire down below just like that and now I'm gonna stick the mat on the bottom just like that so that it covers all the wires and it's gonna look really clean. Now I'm gonna paint all the brown wire with my white paint pen so that you can't see it behind the onyx after it's installed. And then we're gonna be putting these spacers, four spacers, every tile. Just like that. So there's like one there and then one there. Now I'm gonna cut out my three gang box into the wood with my multi so that I can have three switched outlets for my drivers. And then I'll land my home runs to the drivers. I always like to test each home run before I get too deep. So I installed the appliance cord on the driver and I plugged it in temporarily. And now I'm gonna test each home run just to make sure that I don't have any shorts or any reverse polarity or anything like that. So now I know I'm good. So I landed the home runs into the drivers and mounted them to the wall, separating the left side on one and the right side on the other. I removed the outlet, I traced out my three gang box, and now I'm gonna cut it out with the multi. So after getting my box cut out with the multi, I'm just gonna pull the old box out and then I'm gonna reinstall my uh, 
three game. Just like that. Now I have my outlets and my switch wired. I wired it so that the load portion of the switch controls the outlets and I pulled this tab. So now when I push this tab in, it supplies power to the outlets and the drivers turn on. So now I got all the drivers installed and I programmed the cassetta to the remote. So now the customer can turn the lights on from the remote. I took off the cover. I mounted the remote bracket and then the remote just slides on the bracket like that and then i'm gonna put the two game cover that i cut to fit into place right here i finished installing the cover i wired my led tape light and then i'm gonna push my connections up into the cavity pull off the double-sided tape and then i'm gonna stick it into this groove and after i cut it to size after making it to the end of the groove i'm gonna install the lens on top of it so now i'm cutting it on the mark where it shows the scissor. And now the lens just snaps up into place, making sure you get both sides in at the same time so that it's nice and straight on the wood. Just like that. Dimmer on. The under cabinet tape light turned out so clean. It's nice and flush. Now the customer has capability of turning the lights on and off from the wall over here and also dimming the lights from over here. I did notice there's a couple LEDs that are out, but it's not gonna be a big deal. Once the onyx is up, you won't be able to see those. I promise you guys, I will come back once the onyx is up to get a final end result. But for now, that's your end result.